and wisdom we thank him for being the one true living God Lord of heaven and earth God Almighty is the true sender of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles he alone is God and there's none with him there's none besides him and there's none before him we thank him today for giving us a privilege of mercy bringing us into another year as an act of mercy Amen. one scripture says not by works of righteousness that we have done but by his mercy he saved us and this is why we all here today you that are watching you're watching the greatest religious program in America. It is the most outspoken. We labor to preach nothing else but what God have in the scriptures. Amen. The scriptures is our interest. The scriptures is our tool. The scriptures is our guideline. Without the scriptures, then we are a lost people. Amen. It looks beautiful to see so many here this afternoon. And to you that are watching uh, in the different locations that are not here, and you that are listening, whether it's in Africa or Canada or throughout the South Pacific and across the Atlantic, the truth of God is your church. Hmm. You don't even have to go to church if you're not getting the right thing nohow. That's right. Let the telecast be your church. Amen. You don't have to give a dime to hear the message. It comes into your living room, your office. It comes in your preacher's house, free of charge. Amen. In fact, you to teach them how to preach. <laughs> Amen. And let them know what to preach and what not to preach. That's right. If you are a viewer of this program, I want to warn you, you will suffer an addiction. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, you will come addicted to it. That's right. <laughs> you know, there's some things is worth to be addicted to it. And there's some things addiction is just not helpful. That's right. <laughs> but I want to tell everyone that are here, you that are watching, mm -hmm. the truth of God is very addictive. They have addicted themselves. Do you hear this? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 16, 15 says, And they have addicted they themselves. They have addicted themselves. To the ministry of the saints. Do you hear that? Amen. You're watching a gospel addict today. That's right. I'm a gospel preaching addict. Amen. Not out of control. No. I have a controllable addiction. That's right. I feel as though I can't get enough of the truth of God. That's right. I'm always shooting up. <laughs> if you can't find me, rest assured you I'm somewhere <laughs> high as a spiritual kite. That's right. Amen. Amen. Shooting up. <clears throat> Got some real heavenly stuff to give you. Very potent. Oh, yes. Not integrated with nothing carnal. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All pure premium stuff. Amen. Full of the Spirit of God, uncut. That's right. <coughs> not diluted. Mm -hmm. Not mixed. Not watered down. Mm -hmm. We want to give you the full strength of it. That's right. <coughs> so strong until. You are run out of your church. <laughs> That's right. To you that are watching, 
and Selma, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Birmingham, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina, Memphis, Tennessee, throughout the Midwest on the West Coast. You that are listening tonight in Sierra Leone, West Africa. You that are watching in Germany. You that are watching and listening in Pakistan and Afghanistan. We want you to make your calling in elections sure. That's right. To all my viewers in America, the only reason why you are alive to see 2012, God is giving you another chance. That's right. I told. I want you to understand this. It isn't because that you're so handsome or so beautiful. It isn't because that you're so righteous neither. No. It isn't because that you're such a good person. No. Or well, one scripture talks about it compares your righteousness to that of filthy rags. The apostle teaches us not by works of righteousness that we have done. That's right. But it's by God's mercy, he saved us. It's a beautiful feeling to know that you're not on a journey to hell. Amen. That God Almighty extended his arm of mercy, moved me, kept me in time. Right. Didn't usher me out of time and connect me to eternity, but give me borrowed time, a extension. It is wise to utilize this extension for the improvement of self. That's right. So you that are watching and you that are here, we want to kind of update you. The Lord gave us a very successful year, 2011. And as always, there was some hardship. Yes. But there's nothing ever come too hard that God cannot handle. That's right. Sometimes a new thing don't come. The same thing intensifies. Yeah. But regardless... I must respect the devil. Someone said, I don't respect the devil. Well, anytime he can bring sin in heaven, yeah. anytime he can cause a whole third of angels backslide, anytime he can make angels commit treason yeah. and turn against God. I got to respect that power. That's right. For its capability in maneuvering, tricking, conning, and deceiving. Yeah. If he can do this to spirits, what do you think he can do to flesh? That's right. These spirits did not strive to be holy. No. These angels were created holy from the very day God brought them into being. That's right. So to you that go to churches and are lied to by your pastor, and we are told the devil don't have no power. Right. Then why are you praying? That's right. Who got you running to Jesus? That's right. Who got you running to Jesus, brother? Talk back to me. Who got you fighting for your life? Who's tempting you to go back in the world? Who's resurrecting that past taste of alcohol in your gut? Who wants you to turn against God? Who don't want you in the church? Who wants you to hate God? Yeah. And you mean to tell me he don't have no power? That's 
has power to take a spirit that was flawless. That's right. The angels of heaven, when they were created, they had no flaws. They were perfect. But in one, iniquity was found. That's right. And I saw you need is the devil to get in one. That's one. Because when the devil get in one, then it starts spreading. That's right. Mm -hmm. It starts spreading. And when it starts spreading, you see that virus go airborne. Yeah. Thank God. And when you get one unbeliever, that unbelief go airborne and start going to another. That's right. Then go to another. And the very thing you used to uphold, now you denounce. That's true. This is why churches are in the condition that they're in. Mm -hmm. Many of them stood for God. Many of them believed in God's word. But a virus went airborne. That's right. Brought by the prince of the power of the air. That's right. Start contaminating the pulpit. That's right. And when the virus sets in the pulpit, then it start going airborne through words. Right. And people catch the virus and believe the message of lies. That's right. And that message start to convert the sincere hearts to foolish hearts. That's true. It converts the strong to weak. Amen. It converts those that love God into haters of God. That's right. So now the congregation of the living becomes the congregation of the dead. Amen. Satan is a spirit that moves those that are driven forward backward. Yeah. I'm determined, brothers and sisters, not to be driven backward by the forces of hell. That's right. By all means. That's right. Someone says, something to get you, something already got me. That's what got me driven. Amen. You know, in the army, you got to be a good soldier. Oh, yes. And you got to be able to adapt to different climates different living conditions mm -hmm. but if you're driven mm -hmm. and you refuse to surrender to the enemy yeah. there's some fight in you some fight that's right we all got to fight the enemy that's right are you listening to me amen everybody must fight the enemy oh yes but the enemy objective is to exhaust you. Mm -hmm. You get a person who's exhausted while they're fighting, they don't fight as strong. Right. So the enemy exhausts you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, and therefore you're no longer motivated like you used to to get the devil off your back. That's right. But in the midst of the fight, right. you got to have some vigilance. Oh, yes. Jacob, when he wrestled with God, he said, I won't let you go. Mm -hmm. It was a wrestling match. Yes, it was. Hold for hold. That's right. mm. Jacob wanted something, and God wanted to give it to him. Mm. That God wanted him to fight for it. Fight for it. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. To stay with God, you got to fight for got it. To fight. Amen. Huh? Amen. Fight. Paul said, I fought. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. A good fight. Good fight. Then he said, I kept the faith. The faith. See, fight. And faith go together. Right. 
because you can be in a fight so long you lose faith that's true what keeps you in the fight or motivates you to fight is your faith that's right that's true my faith keeps me in the arena <laughs> I God, sometimes the devil may hit me, knock me down, and then I can see him trying to count. That's right. Thank God, but my foot is on the rope. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. You know, in wrestling. And wrestling, the objective is pin your shoulder down. Right. <laughs> One, yeah. two, for you know it, kick out. That's right. That's right. The devil objective is is to pin your mind, soul, body, and spirit to the canvas. Yes. Glory to God when you hear him standing over you counting. Mm -hmm. He's rejoicing in the condition he got you in. Right. He's rejoicing in the state of mind he got you in. That's right. You got to kick out and the way you kick out, you got to pray out or fast out. Go ahead, you got man. to fight out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? You, you get tired of the wrestling match. Yes. Thank God if the bell ring, I want God to be holding my arms up as the winner. That's right. Yeah. That's right. No sense of quitting. No, no. Should be in the bowels of a child of God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look how hard you worked for the devil. That's true. Look how loyal you was to the devil. That's right. And what did you get in return from the devil but pain, hurt, yeah. lies? Oh, yes. That's all the devil gave us. That's right. Go ahead, brother. So now. I have to fight, fight my enemy. Fight. That's right. When the apostles carried this message, the government of their time constantly threatened them. Oh, yeah. Did we not straightly command you not to preach in that name? Right. He was talking to a group of fighters. That's right. They had the best coach. Go ahead. Man. Jesus was their trainer. That's right. Mm. Go ahead. Man. The angel of the Lord came. Yeah. Delivered them out of prison and told them, go in the temple. Yeah. And tell the people all the words of this life. Right. You don't read where the apostle said, but wait a minute. They, they told us not to do it. He said, go. Go. Go back in the fire. That's right. That's you right. can't be a scared child of God go ahead, and serve go him. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You have to be a warrior. Yes. To walk with God. That's right. We are in a war. Yes, mm. You are warring against Satan and spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right. Hallelujah. You got to have that war instincts. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Regardless of how exhausted I get. The devil is not going to make me leave my trainer. That's right. God is my trainer. Amen. 
and I'm still in training camp. See, with God as your trainer, you never get to the point you know all. Uh, you better stay with the coach. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Why? Because the devil's getting sharper and sharper. Yeah. And if you stay with God, he keep you on top of things. Amen. This year, make 28 years, we've been leading the people of God. 28 years. We have fought the devil. It seemed like on every battlefront. He has tried everything through people. Yeah. But we stayed on the battlefield. The devil many times thought he had us. But when he looked, it was not so. That's right. The devil tried to put us in one hole. Yeah. Failed to realize that my coach taught me how to counter that hole. Amen. In God, it is survival. Yes. It is not how loud you talk. No. How much you shake. Oh, no. How long you shout. Mm -hmm. And how much you sing. That's right. Jesus said, he that endures to the end. That's it. The same. Hallelujah. That's right. Shall be saved. Amen. Amen. This message of holiness hmm. to you that are here and you that are watching, there is absolutely no message hmm. on earth that is correct hmm. unless it's holy. That's right. God is holy. Holy. Amen. Amen. I thank God for those in 2011 that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. A total of 737 souls. Wonderful. Isn't God good? Amen. Seven hundred and thirty-seven souls. Amen. Went down in water. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wonderful. Most men haven't baptized that much. In their lifetime of preaching. That's true. That's a blessing. Oh, in Lord. India alone, 352 souls went down in water. My oh, Lord. Just in India. So we're, we're laboring, brothers and sisters. This is a very sincere work. Yes, it is. And if you're not serious about the work, mm. You won't last. No, you won't. You got to get it out your mind. Church is just something to do. That's right. You got to get it out your mind that church is a form of pastime. Right. Pastime is sin. Yes. God ain't pastime. No. Church should be your life. That's right. Talk back to me. Serving God, you want it to be your life. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nothing should be able to compete with God. Right. Absolutely nothing. That's right. I listen to the old man. Amen. Give me the second chapter of the book of Revelation. I want you to follow me in the book of scripture. Amen. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 2. Mm -hmm. And begin at verse 1. Revelation chapter 2 and we'll begin <coughs> at verse 1. I want to talk about working. Working. In the church. The father have not left me alone. <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> the second chapter of the book of Revelation, there mm -hmm. was an apostle named John. Mm -hmm. 
brother of James, sons of Zebedee. Mm -hmm. These two brothers were apostles. Yeah. They had the same teacher, same instructor, mm -hmm. was given the same good, precious information. Amen. You see, many of us that are here, many of you that are watching, undoubtedly, you're going to make New Year's resolutions, and I advise you, don't waste your time. No. Glory to God, you're talking about you're going to turn over a new leaf. Mm -hmm. No, this is what I advise you to do. <laughs> Keep working on the old leaf. That's right. Huh? That's right. Keep working on the old leaf and get that old leaf okay. up the pot. Amen. And by the time you're working on that old leaf, with the help of God, he'll make that old leaf new. Yeah. If you haven't obeyed the truth of God since you've been watching it, it's time for you to get busy. That's right. We're not coming on in your area for entertainment. No. Uh, -uh no, no. No way. The truth of God is a program that is designed by Jehovah. That's right. Designed by the Lord of creation. Amen. God made me a warner. <laughs> a warner for the last days. Yeah. To call your attention to his divine will, his divine purpose for the salvation of your whole family. That's right. If they simply would hear and obey. That's right. Many of you fathers, you upset with me today because your wife with the children want to walk with God. Mm -hmm. Many of you wives upset with me today because your husbands want to obey God. Right. I remember, I, I, I re think of the numerous of letters that we have got, thousands upon thousands of letters. But I have thought about a few days ago a message we was preaching against incest. Mm. And there was a man that wrote me. He wanted me to know he was a white brother. Which wasn't important to me. I wouldn't care if you was plaid. That's right. But as I read his letter, I understand why he emphasized on his color. And he wanted to degrade me by putting a title on me and, and making his color superior. <clears throat> Which I don't mind that because either way, it let me know he's watching. Right. I can take that. See, whatever mood the telecast puts you in, I really don't mind. That's right. You just watch it. Amen. Huh? Amen. We was preaching against incest, and he got so upset, he contacted me and said in his letter, I'm a white man. <laughs> and I don't see nothing wrong with having my white daughter mm. sit between my legs. And he said, I don't want to turn the television on to see a nigger mm. telling me I have no right to have my daughter between my legs. He said, I'm going to call the station and cancel you. Mm. <laughs> He's probably watching now. That's right. He's probably watching the same nigger. That's right. That's right. I say that they tell the whole world this. Yeah. Pastor Jennings yeah, don't care what you call him. No, no. Pastor Jennings really don't care what you say about him. Mm -hmm. Pastor Gino Jennings, born in Temple Hospital, 1963 in Philadelphia, <laughs> don't even care what you think of him. That's right. But you better obey the message that God got in my mouth. That's right. It comes from God. Yes. You got to obey it. Yeah. Or be judged by it. That's right. God has made me an extremely independent preacher. Amen. I'm glad I don't worry about how people think. That's right. You're not going to get around what I'm preaching. No, no. Look at me, good viewer. And you that are here, Go ahead. you're not going to get around what I'm preaching. No, no. Huh? No, you won't. Balaam smoked the dumbass. 
Didn't he do it? That's right. But the angel was still in front of still Balaam and the dumbass. That's right. Viewer, 2012 is here. Mm -hmm. You're still mad. Mm -hmm. You're still upset. <laughs> You're still determined to be in your false church. Bowing to your false God. That's right. Sticking to your false beliefs. Amen. But the word of God shall not change. No, no. no I won't. cannot be bought. No. You can offer me all the money in the world. <laughs> Figures in dollars don't move me. That's right. You can pile a billion dollars in front of me. Yeah. I won't even flinch. Nope. And I don't think twice That's right. of that money challenging the word. That's right. I'm so glad tonight, Go ahead, brother. today that God got my mind, God got my heart, yes. God got my spirit yes. with a relentless determination that spite of all things, Go ahead, preach the word. Preach the word. Hallelujah. Be instant. That's it. In season. Yeah. Don't change. Amen. If people leave you, don't change. Don't change. When new people come, don't change. That's right. Whatever they offer you, don't change. That's right. What they take from you, don't change. Amen. Go ahead. Man. Go I ahead. have a testimony. Mm -hmm. It is written, he that have received his testimony mm -hmm. have set to his seal that God is true. I want to encourage all the ministers. Yeah. Be the same way. Be the same. Don't bargain. That's right. Don't compromise. No. Don't flinch. Nope. Stick to what's written. Amen. If your wife leave you, Amen. stick to the Bible. Yeah. Stick to it. If your children backslide and disown you, yeah. Lord, I'll take God, stick to the Bible. That's right. You see, preachers today have chose money and prosperity over God. Amen. I wouldn't choose nothing mm -mm. and nobody over God no way we bow to no man that's right we bow to no woman amen we bow to no money yeah we bow to God that's right if you don't have these things in order then the devil will be more successful in pulling you away from God. Amen. We are facing the end now. Oh, yes. Did not Jesus prophesy mm -hmm. wars and rumors of wars, mm -hmm. earthquakes in diverse places? Yeah. Is it not coming to pass moreover? Amen. Amen. The end of God, or should I say the end of the world? That's a very scary statement. Yes, the yes. end of the world Amen. he said when heaven and earth pass away my word my word shall not pass I have to stand firm mm -hmm. on that that won't pass that's right you that's running after wealth hmm. how is it that money became so important you put it above God amen what is so good about your car yeah. that you will praise it and give it more attention than God? Than God. Mm. What is so good about that man and that woman mm -hmm. that you will give them more attention than God? Amen. Were you born with these things? Will you die with these things? No. Glory to God, the Lord want to give you a new thought today. That's right. Notice the Apostle John. Revelation chapter 2, still at verse 1. Listen. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. These things saith he. These things saith God. Mm -hmm. There were seven churches in Asia. Right. 
And when the Apostle John saw the churches, God showed them the churches have seven golden candlesticks. That's right. Seven golden candlesticks. Golden mean they were precious. That's right. Golden also mean that the church was a place for deliverance. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Amen. A candlestick is no good unless it have a flame. That's right. The power of the candlestick is the fire. Mm -hmm. If I look at the flame of a candlestick, I can determine what direction the wind is blowing. That's true. I want to take my time and educate you. That's true. Glory to God. <laughs> the church is called a golden candlestick oh, because the fire, the flame, is the presence of God in church. That's right. Imagine a church and God ain't there. Mm. I'm not talking about a good sounding choir. No. I'm not talking about a bunch of noise from the congregation. No, no. God has to be in the pulpit. That's right. The sound of God. Sound. That's right. The message that comes from the pulpit must be a message that is centered around God and it must come from God through the preacher That's not right. come from the preacher no 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 then spake Haggai listen in the book of Haggai chapter 1 and verse 13 follow me then spake Hag Haggai the Lord's messenger wait a minute hmm. then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger the seminary school student the Lord's messenger Viewers, mm -hmm. you're going to church by the thousands, and mm -hmm. you that are here. Mm -hmm. But uh, have you noticed? The Lord's messenger mm -hmm. is not in the pulpits of America today. No. If the Lord's messenger was in the pulpit, mm -hmm. then he would have turned the people from their evil way. That's right. And from the evil of their doing. What do you mean? The truth would be preached. Truth. Amen. Not compromising. No. Not bargaining to make friends. Oh, no. Listen. Then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger. And what? In the Lord's message unto the people. Now, the messenger stands in the message. That's it. And the message comes out of the messenger. Mm -hmm. Preacher, if you're here today... Are you God's messenger? Amen. Because if you're God's messenger, mm -hmm. your message should not deviate from the word of God That's right. at all. That's right. And if you're God's messenger, you should not spend Saturday night and Friday night preparing a message for Sunday morning. That's right. Because you're God's messenger. That's right. And if you're God's messenger, the Amen. messenger is already, the message is already prepared. Amen. That's right. It's like a waiter. Mm -hmm. The waiter don't go fix the food. No. He just come bring it. That's it. That's all I am. That's right. A waiter. Mm -hmm. We wait on the tables of the world. Then came the word of the Lord. Do you hear this? Now still in the book of Haggai chapter 1 and verse 3. Then came the word of the Lord. By Haggai the prophet. Do you hear that? Amen. I want everybody to get this. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord come by the man of God. That's right. That's right. I got. I had a sister ask me this weekend, Pastor Jennings. Uh, she was taught some type of strange teaching. The preacher told her, you know how you hear God, and he gave her some type of cartoon version. Mm. It was so far to left field, it wasn't a field where it came from. <laughs> You hear God mm -hmm. through preaching. That's right. It is written, God make manifest his word through preaching. through preaching. That's right. And you hear the preaching of God's word in the candlestick. Go ahead. Huh? That's right. Go ahead, take God. Right. You hear the preaching of God's word in the candlestick That's right. in the church. In the church. All right, let's go back to Revelation. Come on, son. Back in Revelation 2 and verse 1. What is it? Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write. Unto the angel, unto the messenger. Mm -hmm. Listen, God is talking to the preacher in the church. Right. 
unto the angel of the church of the church of unto the preacher mm -hmm. of the church of Ephesus. unto the messenger of the church of Ephesus right you write this these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand these things saith God that holds the church mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that holds the church in his right that hand possess the church mm -hmm. by the spirit that's right that's the right hand of God that's right uh -huh. who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks all right viewers you want God walking. Walking. Glory to God Go in the midst mm -hmm. of the church. That's right. I don't want no church God is not in. No. Let us understand the meaning of God in the church. Mm -hmm. It's more than people jumping and shouting. That's right. Getting smell and sauce. <laughs> losing your wig. That's right. That's right. Toupee fell off. Amen. Ankle chain got clipped. Mm -hmm. You broke your heel. Yeah. Preacher ran out the pulpit and sat on somebody's lap. That's right. Am I right? Amen. We're not talking about that foolishness. No, no. The way you know that God oh. is in the midst of the church, mm -hmm. it starts right here. Right. That's right. That's right. The center of church mm -hmm. the nucleus mm -hmm. of the church yeah. is the message that's right if the message is wrong mm. then the babies mm. that is in the body of that woman Go ahead, brother. will suffer Go ahead. miscarriage that's right that's right let me say it again that's right if the message is wrong then the babies or the people mm -hmm. that is in that body mm -hmm. will never mm -hmm. grow and develop into a healthy spiritual mm -hmm. brother or sister that's right they will come out mm -hmm. deformed yes or either a miscarrying child in Hosea chapter 9 and verse 14 let me show you this in the book of scripture Hosea 9 and verse 14 come on son give them O Lord give them O Lord what wilt thou give what, what what will you give them give them a miscarrying womb a miscarrying womb and dry breasts holy amen I want to take my time and soak you yeah a miscarrying womb miscarrying. is when a child is born dead. That's right. Where you're sitting in the church and mm. yet the woman is eating. Yes. Mm. She may be exercising. Yeah. The preacher in the churches, he's doing something. Right. Giving you lecture after lecture after lecture. Yeah. But he's not giving you nothing to keep you attached. That's it. To God. That's right. And when you're not receiving nothing to give you an attachment yeah. to God Almighty, then the people suffer a miscarriage. miscarriage. That's why you can sit in the church for years and spiritually die. That's true. You get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. That's the right. right nutrition is not there. That's right. That's right. Not getting the right nutrition. Mm-hmm. So spiritually sluggish. Sluggish. Spiritually weak. That's right. Spiritually malnourished. Spiritually poor. Poor. That's right. That's A breast without milk? Dry breast. Dry A breast. dried breast. Dry breast. Mm. The best milk for a baby. Is when she breastfed. That's right. Sometime. <laughs> Are you listening to the old man? Amen. That milk is only as good as what the woman eat. That's true. If what she eat is no good, their drink is sour. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. In Hosea 4 and verse 18. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. 
Give chapter and verse. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 18. Says what? Their drink is sour. If what you eat is no good and unhealthy, then what comes from your breast is no good and unhealthy for your baby. It's sour. Sour. That's right. You're smoking and drinking and acting like a fool. Amen. Amen. The meat you eat is not cooked all the way. That's right. Medium rare. Mm -hmm. Showing you the blood of the animal. Mm -hmm. All that eat thereof. Do you hear this? Now in the book of Hosea 9 and verse 4. What is it? All that eat thereof. All that eat thereof. Shall be polluted. Mm. The breast is only as healthy as what she eats. That's right. She's an alcoholic. She's making an alcoholic out of a baby. Amen. She's taking in crack and all other drugs. It's coming out of her breast right into the veins of a baby. That's right. If the preacher is preaching lies, Amen. it's coming right into you. Right into you. That's true. That's something. And you become active over the lies. That's why you shout over rebabbage and divorce. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. When the woman preacher get up, you shout mm -hmm. and say, hallelujah. Yeah. You got a dry breast dry in your breast. mouth. That's right. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Amen. When you endorse homosexuality, you got a dry breast in your mouth. That's right. That's right. Anything you uphold yeah. that God is against mm -hmm. You got a dried breast. Dried breast. Let me show you what's supposed to be in the breast. Mm -hmm. 28th chapter. Of the book of Isaiah. Of the book of Isaiah. And begin at verse 9. And begin at verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Glory to God. Amen. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall and he make? Whom shall he make to understand, understand doctrine? doctrine? Hold it. Mm -hmm. You got doctrine. Mm -hmm. You got knowledge. Right. Knowledge give you understanding mm -hmm. of doctrine. That's right. The more you understand about the doctrine of God, the better I can live and the tighter I can cater to it. That's right. That's right. When you got knowledge of what to cook, mm -hmm. you get something good mm -hmm. to eat. Amen. And then something good come from within yeah. and come from without yeah. to your child. That's right. If the preacher got good knowledge from God yes. about God's word, his mm. doctrine would be right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's why the church is called bride. Right. The church is called wife. That's right. The church has the label of a female. That's right. That's why it's called the body of Christ because when a woman is pregnant, her body expands and grows. Mm -hmm. When it's added to the body of Christ, the body getting larger and larger and larger. Mm -hmm. and larger. That's why within the woman, there's blood, water, and spirit. And within the church, right. there's blood, water, That's and spirit. Right. That's right. That's right. Why you think the very title of having a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue is called new birth. New birth. New birth. That's right. New birth. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Go ahead, man. New birth. Being born again. Again. That's right. Go ahead, man. Mm. Go ahead, brother. You come out of a natural woman. Yes. To be placed in a spiritual woman. That's right. And as more souls be added to the body, you see the body of the woman, which is the bride of God. Go ahead. Expanding. Go ahead. Expanding. Yeah. Expanding. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Are you getting this? Amen. Do you hear this? Whom shall he teach knowledge? Now. This is what should be in the breast. Mm -hmm. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? How shall we get it? Them that are weaned from the milk. And where the milk come from? And drawn from the breast. Glory to God. Amen. The mother get those collard greens, mm -hmm. string beans, corn on the cob, butter beans, 
<laughs> some good tilapia fish, mm -hmm. some candy yam. That's right. Glory to God, sweet Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Child's not ready to sit at the table and eat that yet. Right. So the mother, she eat it. Yeah? Right. She eats it. Why the child still being breastfed? Mm -hmm. But sometimes the child don't know when to stop. <laughs> That's right. It be choking and throwing up and still trying to get the breast. That's right. Don't know when to stop. So That's the mother true. had to teach the child knowledge. Go ahead. Doctrine means rules how to be governed. That's right. So the way the mother, when she give the child breast and take it out, she is giving the child knowledge while she institute doctrine. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Teaching the child when to drink, when not to drink. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. When you're in a church mm -hmm. and there's no knowledge of God there, mm -hmm. your doctrine got to be wrong. Got, that's right. Got that's to. why you got a dried breast. Dried breast. A unhealthy church. A contaminated woman. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead. Them Go ahead. that are weaned. From the milk. From the milk. Now, good milk mm -hmm. that comes from the church, the milk is the wisdom of God. As newborn babes. Hear this. In first hear Peter. this. Mm -hmm. Hear this. Amen. Listen. Mm -hmm. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. What is it? As newborn babes. Look how the Bible itemizes it. Amen. Now he's letting you know who milk is for. Right. And then I want to go to Hebrews mm -hmm. that lets you know father who milk is for. That's right. I'm just working on milk right now. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I know a lot of you didn't know it consists of so many good Holy Ghost vitamins, but <laughs> it does. Right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Listen at this. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. The Bible make a comparison. What? As. Holy. What's that first word? As. That means comparison. Just like He's comparing ahead. something. Go ahead. As newborn babes, he's showing you the state of a beginner in the church. That's right. A novice. That's right. As as newborn babes, as a newborn babe, desire, desire the sincere milk of the word. You see, a newborn babe desire milk. Amen. And it don't know when to stop drinking. No. And throw up and still got his mouth open. That's true. So mama, which is the child teacher, got the brain doctrine. Doctrine. No, no, that, that's enough. Mm -hmm. It's good teaching, brother. That's enough. And, 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 and the child's still going through the motion. Ain't nothing in his mouth. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I want you that are watching to get this to get because it. your mouth is still going through the motion, speaking in some tongue, Go ahead. and there ain't no teaching in your church. Amen. It's good teaching, brother. Go ain't ahead. no teaching in your church. Go ahead. You're jumping and shouting and doing all that, but it ain't no good Holy Ghost God giving teaching in the church. That's right. It's good teaching. Sometimes the child go to sleep, hands still out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having good. a form of sucking. That's right. But it's not holding the power thereof. No. But lips are still going. That's right. I want to take my time and time. give you a belly for today. Amen. We want to break down the scriptures. Yes. Listen at this. As newborn babes. You this, see, mm -hmm. when that milk come out of the breast of the woman, mm -hmm. the food she ate is broken down. Oops, that's right. It's broken down. Yes. So now, the same thing she ate, the collard greens, the string beans, the carrots, the corn and the cob, and the good steamed vegetables, is all coming in a child in the form mm -hmm. of milk. Milk. But it's coming in a manner where the child can digest it. That's it. Huh? That's, that's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead. It's Go ahead. coming in a form that is digestible that's right listen as newborn babes as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word of what of the word hold it give me the book of genesis mm -hmm. i'm just working working on milk right now mm -hmm. i want to be a milkman right now amen i want to deliver the milk mm -hmm. amen. amen in the old testament i believe it was jacob when Jacob looked at God by the Spirit, right, he said right. his teeth mm -hmm. is white. white with milk. Dude, listen at this. In the book of Genesis 49 and verse 12. Listen. 
His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. He's talking about God. Not that God will be drunk. No. Eyes shall be red with wine. When you look at a person's eyes, many times you can determine love or hate. That's true. They ain't even got to say nothing. That's right. You can determine love, hate, jealousy, compassion, That's anger, right. frustration. By That's the true. eyes. That's true. Ah! That's right. Glory to God. Amen. What he said. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. And his teeth. And his teeth. White with milk. White with milk. With milk. Get this. The Bible says, taste the Lord mm -hmm. and see that he's good. He's good. Your teeth is not designed to taste. That's right. No. No. You don't taste with your teeth. No, no. You taste with your tongue. That's right. But your, he says what? And his teeth. Hold it. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. His teeth is white with milk. With, 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 with milk. With milk. It is the milk that brought the whiteness to his teeth. That's right. So what is the teeth used for? To break down the food. What was God's teeth representing? The breaking down of his word. That's right. What does milk represent? The wisdom of God. God. It takes the wisdom of Preach God it, to break down the words of God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. No matter ahead, how brother. tough that meat is. Go ahead. No matter how strong that scripture is. Yes. God get his servant. That's right. Break it down. Break it down. In a manner Go ahead. that all the babies Go ahead. can suck and understand. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Amen. Go ahead, brother. The meat of the scripture mm. is for it sounds. It sounds. Mm -hmm. But when you still get milk, mm -hmm. you still obey. Still obey. Give me the book of Hebrews, son. In Hebrews chapter 5. We're we'll, still having a milk journey now. That's right. Come on. Hebrews chapter 5, we'll start at verse 12. What is it? For when for the time ye ought to be teachers. All right. Ought to be. When for the time you should be in advisory capacity. Amen. A teacher, mm -hmm. an instructor, right. an advisor. Mm -hmm. When for the time you should be. Should a teacher should be. That's right. What's the result? You have need that one teach you a good. You really need to back off. That's right. And sit down. That's right. And learn. Which be the first principles of the oracles learn of God. Learn truth first. Right. Why try to be deep Boy. when you're really shallow? That's right. Why try to dive in deep scriptures when you don't even I don't even understand Genesis one one. That's true. That's right. How can you talk about God when you don't know how many gods it is? Amen. How can you properly talk about God you don't know who he is? Who he is. You don't know what he is. That's right. You don't know where he is. That's right. It's good teaching, man. Good teaching. Know who he is. Amen. Know where he is. Yes. Know what he is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Go ahead bro. And allow him to make these things known. Amen. Are you listening? For when for the time when he, for the time he ought to be teachers. Many have the desire to preach. Yeah. yeah. But yet they don't have what it takes mm -hmm. to be a preacher. That's right. Anybody can give lectures. Women can give lectures. That's true. But it takes the spirit of God to make a preacher. That's right. Preaching is a divine act. Of God that's right it has nothing to do with the college no it has nothing to do with the school oh no some viewers who hate to telecast write me and say you often say you haven't been a Bible school well you ought to go you ignorant thing <laughs> again I can take that I'll take that if you call me ignorant I, I, I don't have no problems with that that's right the scripture says when they perceived that Peter and John was ignorant mm -hmm. And was on learning. They marveled. That's right. That they've been with Jesus. That's right. Here you had an ignorant man walking on water. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Here you had an ignorant man walking on water. Amen. Here you had ignorant men having the keys yes. of the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Whatsoever they bind on earth 
they bounced in heaven. That's right. Whatsoever God said you loose on earth, I loose in heaven. Yes. Gave it to ignorant men. Ignorant men. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Hell. Amen. What did God say? I chose the weak the things weak. of the world. Yes. To confound the wise. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. That's man. God's way. Go ahead, man. So you calling me ignorant? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Uh huh. Yeah, that's all right. That's right. Ignorant if you will, mm -hmm. but loaded with wisdom. Amen. I, I can take that. Oh yes. What did the Holy Ghost say? For when for the time ye ought to be teachers. When for the time ye ought to be teachers. Ye have need that ye one teach you. Ye have need. There's a necessity. There's a need there that one teach you again. Which be the first principles, of, be the the first principles of, of the oracles of God. Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And are become such as have need of milk. Oh. Amen. So a lot of them in the pulpit need to be set down. Right. Why? What condition are they in? And are become such as have need of milk. They become such as one that need milk and not of strong meat and they don't preach like someone that has strong meat what condition are they in for everyone that uses milk what are they is unskillful in the work of righteousness sit down sit down you that are watching me, your pastor need to sit down. that's right you that go to the false churches down here your pastor need to sit down that's right that's right. And if you are a preacher here and you're not standing for the same thing that the apostle stood for, you need to sit down. That's right. It doesn't matter if you've been pastoring for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. If one person died with the lie you taught them, you cause them and yourself to and go yourself. to hell. That's right. That's Bible right. Bible says the blind lead, lead the, blind. the blind. They both mm -hmm. fall into the fall ditch. Fall into the ditch. That's right. Both of them. Both of them. That's a scary situation to be in. Amen. Huh? Everyone when that you, you when you want to do it right, yeah. you don't care nothing about your title. No. And that's why many men are afraid to walk with this. They're so worried about I gotta surrender my title. When you see God, He ain't paying your title to mine. No, it's not. And when you really want to be right, you don't care about no title. That's right. As long as I get into the kingdom of God. That's it. Huh? That's it. As long as I get in there. Amen. Glory to God. Listen Amen. at this. Everyone that uses milk. Everyone that uses milk. Is unskillful. Is unskillful. In the word of righteousness. They lack divine talent. That's right. Why? Unskillful. For he is a babe. That's the problem. That's the problem. Babes Baby. trying to lead people. Yeah. Babes trying to lead people. That's right. Clumsy and fumbling, yeah. don't know how to walk with the scriptures. Yeah. See, when you get a baby, before it crawl, it's be on the stomach, or the mother gotta position it. Yes. So the signs of growth and development is when that mama lay it on his back, mm -hmm. and then she peep in and check on the child. That mm -hmm. child on the stomach. Right. That means the child is growing, getting strength. See, old school. Let me teach you, young mother, something. You know, old school parents will put their child on the floor. Mm -hmm. Because the hardness of the floor toughens the body of the child. Yeah. You keep the child on the bed all the time, it makes the bones soft. Right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Amen. Old school to you, you young, inexperienced mothers, when it's summertime, you bring a little baby outside, nothing on the head. Right. You say, oh, it's hot. Let me tell you something. That soft spot on the child's head having closed. Mm -hmm. And when you expose it to the sun, the heat of the sun can cook the brains yes. like an egg is cooked. Right. That's right. Regardless of how hot it is out there, Put a little something on your child's head. Yeah. Because the crown is not closed. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Amen. Glory to God. Get this. Everyone that uses milk. Everyone that uses milk. Is unskillful in the word of righteousness. For he is a baby. Now a lot of preachers in the pulpit, they are babies. Ba mm -hmm. You can be 70 years old and still a baby. That's true. 
Because they're unskillful. Unskillful. They didn't have no teaching. Right. So when that child started to grow up and develop, thank God when they started crawling and legs started getting stronger. Mm -hmm. You see, a wise mother don't keep carrying that baby when they learn how to crawl. That's it right. It doesn't matter how much you cry. Mm -hmm. You pick it up sometime. Yeah. Not all the time. That's right. Uh -huh. Let Put it down. Mm -hmm. If it cry, it strengthens his lungs. Amen. Don't keep walking around holding no baby. Yeah. Let that child learn how to crawl. That's right. If you don't, your a child will be three and four and five years old Still sitting can. on the hip of your mama. Amen. And you complaining your side hurt. Put that child down. That's right. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. You know how to make babies, but you don't know how to take care of them. Amen. That's why we teach everything teach here. Everything. Everything. That's right. And we teach you that you may be improved for the betterment of self. Amen. The word says what? Everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. You hear that? Why? Everyone. For he is a babe. So when that child starts to learn how to walk before then, it pulls up. Mm -hmm. It's wobbling. You know why? Now it's at a level that it never been. Right. Things are different from up here. <laughs> That's right. It used to be a ground baby. Yeah. Always on the ground. Yeah. But now it's standing. The child knows something is different now. Is different. The child got the behavior of a drunken man. That's true. Huh? That's right. The child had the behavior of a drunken man because its body does not have the natural strength to maneuver. Mm -hmm. So it, hold on. Hold on. So then mother or father come to coach it. Mm -hmm. Want to encourage it. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. And the child just laughing. Go ahead. The child understand and don't understand. Right. All the child understand is your motion. Right. He, the child don't know you're telling it to try to walk. That's right. All the child, he see this. Yeah. And sometimes we lure the child by getting things they like. Come on. <laughs> And you know the child is greedy anyway. <laughs> child starts marching to it. Mm -hmm. In other words, the parents help it. Help it. Take the first step. That's right. That's what teaching does. Yes. It helps you and show you how to take the first step mm -hmm. to God. That's right. How to walk towards God in the manner that he walks. Mm -hmm. Not what Jake want. That's right. Not what Joel Austin want. Go ahead. Not what Benny Hinn want. Amen. But do it the way God oh, want. That's right. If I do it the way God want, I get to him. Yes. Yes, you If will. I do it the way the team evangelists tell me, I never reach him. Never reach him. It's good teaching, bro. Are you listening? I never reach him. Go ahead. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Go ahead. So once you tell the child, then the child will walk laughing. Yeah. Then it fall. Boom. Sometimes the parents run to help it up, and then sometimes the child tried on his own, get on his knees, and Amen. rock a while. Amen. Until they try it again. Mm -hmm. Until later on, mama may be in the kitchen. Next thing she look, it may catch her off guard. Yeah. Child is walking. Mm -hmm. It ain't walking, you know, like you do. It still shows instability. Right. It's still drunk. That's true. Walking. Looking at you laugh. <laughs> Go ahead, man. That's the way men are who are spiritually incompetent. Yes. Spiritually inexperienced. Yeah. They wobble. Mm -hmm. At the book, they're clumsy. Clumsy. Clumsy scriptural preachers. That's right. Don't know how to explain and rightly divide the word of God. Needs to be taught. Again. But the arrogance yeah. make them ignore teaching. That's right. That's it. That's that's right. Amen. You're wobbling when you got more than one God. Oh yes. You are wobbling, You're wobbling. when you got Trinity, three gods in heaven. That's right. You are wobbling yeah. when you got a white Jesus. Amen. You are wobbling when you got a black Jesus. Yeah. You are wobbling when you got women preachers in the pulpit. That's right. You are wobbling when you justify living together and not married. Go ahead. 
You are wobbling when you are Christian beer guzzler. Amen. You are wobbling when you are Christian cigarette sucker. Go ahead, brother. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. The Pope of Rome is wobbling. He's wobbling. A big wobbler. That's all. That's all. For he's unskillful. Unskillful. In the word of righteousness. That's right. That's right. Look at the blunders that the Pope is making. <laughs> Lord. The priest can't marry. Mm. What a blunder. And yet they say Peter was their first Pope. Yeah. Peter was a married man. Yes, he was. Mm. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. The religions of the world, the religions of the world have a big wobble and they will. They need a divine will alignment. Oh, yes. The prosperity preachers. <laughs> a big wobble. Big wobble. But the devil know people rather want to be rich than be right. That's true. That's, that's true. So you are deceived and you go out to car dealers touching their cars. <laughs> like you ain't got good sense. Amen. <laughs> Preacher get up and tell you, look at the churches here in this area. And it's not a large location. Mm -hmm. But you can go into practically every church around here and they all got the same junk. Same junk. A prosperity plan. Amen. Who would ever thought a day will come where God is not the subject of church? My Lord. God is not the main objective of church. Mm -hmm. The main objective is show the people that right here is heaven. Right no. here is not heaven. No. In fact, right here is not hell. That's right. Because That's hell true. is reserved for the wicked. Mm -hmm. It is not this place. No. Amen. So you measure your spiritual growth by a couple of cars you got in your driveway. That's right. A few investment properties. And a reasonable size bankroll Lord. of a few dollars. My Lord. But yet, you gonna die. You gonna die. So what do you got, brother? Mm. Sister, what do you got? Amen. You die without God, you gonna be in eternal everlasting trouble oh yes my job as a warner is to open your eyes to make you reconsider mm -hmm. and consider those things that you never considered that's right listen for when for the time you ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of god what is it and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. And everyone that uses everyone milk that use milk is unskillful. Is in unskillful in the words. That's right. For he is a babe. That's just a novice. But strong meat. Oh, glory to God! Strong meat or sound teaching belongeth to them that are of full Belong age. Belong to them that are settled in God's word. Even those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised. There's some. They hear us preach strong stuff or make strong statements. Right. And because they're not yet spiritually mature enough to digest it, they'd be like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe that man said that over the television. Mm -hmm. They'd be calling other people, girl, girl, come here, come here, come here. This right. man is crazy. Ye were not able this to. This man is crazy. That's right. They'd be at the television, oh my God, what? Amen. He said, what? Oh, so they'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry for him. Somebody's going to kill him. Somebody's going to kill yeah, him. That's right. Cringing. Cringing. Why? Mm -hmm. It shows lack of spiritual maturity. That's it. Hmm? That's right. Can't take strong meat yet. Oh, no. Still got a teething ring in your mouth. That's right. That's hmm? right. Mm-hmm. Preacher not giving you something to chew. No. I have fed you with milk. Do you hear this? In the book of 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 2. The Apostle Paul says, I have fed you with milk. I fed you light stuff. That's right. And what? And not with meat. And not with real strong stuff. For hitherto ye were not able to bear you it. You just couldn't bear it. Neither yet now are you. And able. yet now still can't take it. That's right. Ye are yet carnal. Can't take it. That's right. So when they hear us preach against the government of America, oh God, oh Jesus, please protect them. Jesus, please protect them. Jesus, please protect them. And they hear us preach against religion. Oh, isn't that man scared? Somebody gonna kill him? Yeah. I'm not afraid of nobody in the world. It's wonderful. We travel to any country, any town, 
any village. Mm -hmm. I absolutely, positively do not fear a human on earth. Wonderful. There is no government I will bow to. Mm -hmm. There is no authority on earth that contradicts God that I will bow to. Amen. There is not a law that will come from the White House that contradicts God that I will agree to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Either you're for God yeah. or you're not. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't gotten to that point, mm -hmm. you need to be taught holiness that gets you to that point. That's it. That's right. You see, if I'm in the military, I don't want no gay drill sergeant. <laughs> no way. No I way. just don't. No. Am I right, men? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. I just don't. That's all. Cool. You know, in the military, you may find men shower together. Well, if you're all straight, you're cool with that. Yeah. You get a gay star, star he's checking you out. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's checking you out. That's right. <laughs> so, I'm going to think twice when he comes to my bunker. Oh, yes. And we all in bed. Yeah. Yeah. Lights out, everybody. <laughs> Lights out. Go ahead, brother. Let it play. Just looking. Lights out. Lights out, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Go ahead, you better, you better, You better cover him with the covers. <laughs> Go ahead, Go ahead. So if my drill sergeant got this character, yeah. then how ain't gonna train me to crawl under the wire? Right. Go over the tires. Yes, sir. Climb up that rope yeah. like a ladder yeah. and go on the other side. Yeah. See if I'm strong enough the rope, I don't want him to come help me. No, no. You, you, you need a little push? I give you a push. Come on, come on. <laughs> Am I right, man? Yeah. Hoorah! Hoorah! Yes, sir. Good, Good. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? <laughs> But if I got a sound pit bull teacher, oh yeah, whatever fear I have, mm -hmm. his pit bull skill can pull it out of me. Yeah. Whatever weakness I have, his pit bull skill can stabilize it. Yeah. And where I'm weak through teaching, make me strong. Yeah. 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 Amen. The purpose of holiness mm. is to institute stability. Mm. You will hardly ever find these many men in a church. No. Today, Not today. church is known for hardly no men going there. It's true. It can be a mega church. <laughs> 999 women and probably one man. <laughs> Amen. Holiness, the teachings of God. That's right. Holiness, the thinking of God. Mm. Holiness, the standard of God, the ways of God. Holiness, the intelligence of God. That's right. When you get the intelligence of God in self that will bring us up to a higher level. That's true. The purpose of school is to bring one up to a higher level. Yeah. Church is supposed to bring you up to a higher oh. knowledge of self. That's right. You cannot know self no more than you know God. Amen. You have to learn God, which brings you into the knowledge of yourself. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Amen. 
go back to Revelation real quick. Back My in, time is getting away. Back in Revelation 2 and verse 1. What is it? Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, uh -huh. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. That had the church in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. What else? I know thy works. Do you hear God talking? I know thy works. You that are here, you that are watching, what do you think you can pull over God? Nothing. Nothing. He know your down setting, he know your uprising, he know your thoughts are far off. That's right. What do you mean he know my thoughts are far off? Before you born, the thoughts you will have, he already know them. Amen. You're five now, he know what thoughts you're going to have at 25. Yeah. You're 15 now, he know what thoughts you're going to have at 35. That's right. He know your thoughts are far off. That's right. And what? I know thy works. I know thine works. And thy labor. And thine labor. And thy patience. He's talking to the church. Amen. I know your works, I know your labor, and I know your patience. And how thou canst not bear and them which are evil. you cannot bear them that are evil. And thou hast tried them. Thou hast tried them. Which say they are apostles. Which say they are the representatives of God. And are not. And how did we find them? And has found them liars. Liars. Amen. In order for the church to investigate the preacher, mm -hmm. the church got to have knowledge of the laws of God. That's right. That's right. Otherwise than that, that man, that false prophet mm -hmm. becomes qualified mm -hmm. to deceive the church. Amen. Look at the churches. If they was of God of a truth, you would never go to a church and they got a weak revival in a different fool every night. <laughs> That's right. No way. A different false prophet every single night. Every night. And all of them got the same thing. Mm -hmm. They come from Texas. Mm -hmm. God got a miracle with your name on it. Yeah. They come from Oklahoma. Do you want a new car tonight? <laughs> Do you want a new house tonight? They come from Africa. Do you want a new goat? <laughs> Do you want a new mule? Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. They have come from Florida. Yeah. Do you need your bills paid? Are you behind in your bills? That's right. Get a piece of paper. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want some paper. <laughs> Every single night, My it's going to be a different hustler. Hustler. That's going to come in your church. That's right. And some of you parents... It's amazing how you can't see it, but your children can. That's and your so children funny. telling you, come on, Pop, you believe this trash? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. And Father's like, well, son, don't worry about it. The Lord works in mysterious don't ways. The Lord is not that mysterious. <laughs> no. That Go God gonna make a sucker out of you. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. God's word ain't no hustle. No. I'm going to say it again. God word. No. It's no hustle. No hustle. I don't need a mink coat. That's right. That's right. I don't need a mink hat. Amen. Amen. I don't need to look like a pimp. Right. That's right. I don't need to look like a pimp and God's women don't need to look like hoes. Go ahead. Preach it, brother. Preacher. I don't need to be a bling bling preacher. I don't need diamonds. No. I don't need bracelets. That's right. I don't need a bunch of chains around my neck. That's right. I need God. God. Amen. Amen. This is serious milk. Serious. Serious. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. I want to show you God's church versus what you call church. Right. That's right. What they call church. That's right. Today, the preacher got you thinking he's blessed mm -hmm. because he's wealthy. Right. And he became wealthy off your back. That's right. You made him wealthy. You made him like that. Yeah, he bragged about his wealth. Mm -hmm. Then he used himself as a measuring stick. Mm. If God is blessing you, then you should have a house like me. Yeah. If God is blessing you, you should drive a car like mine. That's right. I don't have to live like you or drive what you drive to be blessed. No. Who That's are true. you? The measuring stick is God Himself. That's right. That's right. 
Are you listening to what I'm telling you? They have committed. Stop letting these TV hustlers. Hustlers. Make a church going, Bible toting, gospel singing sucker out of you. That's right. That's right. You sit under these lies for years, drive the church happy. <laughs> you should sing a new song as a result of following the liar. Right. I'm gonna be robbed today, robbed today. Gonna be robbed in church today. Preacher gonna dupe me like he did last week. Yeah, gonna be robbed today. Yeah, robbed today, robbed today. Gonna get duped by the preacher today. Gonna go to hell when he's done with me. Oh, gonna be robbed today. Oh, yes. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You understand? Amen. Glory to God. Go ahead, brother. You Amen. might as well sing that with all your heart. All your heart. <laughs> what good is complaining about the church you're in, but you ain't got sense enough to stop going? That's right. You complain about it. One thing I'm glad about the Truth of God telecast, it makes you look at church different. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. You look at church different now. That's right. You find yourself learning more by watching that program than all the years you've been going to church. Amen. And now when you become more scripturally educated, mm -hmm. the less the preacher is able to trick you. Right. Now you're able to see through his lies and schemes and maneuvers. That's right. Before then, we was church-going dummies. Yes. Just getting caught up in the emotion of singing, jumping out of our chair, just shouting. Go ahead, man. Don't know nothing, just shuffle dancing. Shuffle. Don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right, man? Yeah. <laughs> I came out of a church just like that. My Lord. Where jumping and shouting was the call of the day. And your spiritual growth, or what's supposed to determine your spiritual growth, was how long you shout, yeah. how often you shout, and you ain't know nothing. They know nothing. A church fool. <laughs> That's right. That's true. You know, I'm told in some kingdoms they have the kingdom of the fool. Yeah. He yeah. come out one half a suit, one color, one one color. Come out with little old balls on his hat That's to right. make the king jolly. That's right. <laughs> you have the church fool. Amen. Amen. The jester. The jester. The joker. That's right. And you still got him. It's a disgrace. Yes, it is. Many don't like what I'm saying, and I don't care if you don't. That's right. You know it's the truth. That's right. Listen. And thou hast tried them which say they are Try apostles. Them. Test them. Mm -hmm. Try How them. do we find these artificial apostles? And has found them liars. Liars? Liars. How can you be an apostle and denounce the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? My Lord. How can you be an apostle and never spoke in tongues? Never. How can you be an apostle without the Holy Ghost? You probably got some men around here that say they are apostles. Mm -hmm. You won't find an apostle ordaining women to preach. No way. No, no. You won't find an apostle's wife, the first lady. No. No, you won't. An apostle steadfast in the apostle's doctrine. That's right. Listen. Thou hast tried them which say they are are apostles and what are they? And are not. And and has found them liars. What else? And has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored. All right. And has not fainted. And ha what? And has not fainted. Oh, talking to the church in Ephesus. That's right. Told them they haven't fainted. Amen. That's what I want to encourage you to do. Don't faint. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Endure hardness. Amen. 
Endure hardness as a good soldier. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I don't never want to fail. Let me give you a good lesson. Failure is a part of life. Yeah. If you never fall, you don't know that side of self, how you will react with that experience. That's true. Failure challenges your ability to endure. That's right. Chal failure challenges your survival instincts. Amen. If you always used to eat and used to eat and used to eat, and you don't know how you will act when you, if you're hungry. Yeah. So if you got a lot of food in front of you, you practice temperance. Mm -hmm. By not getting all what you can get, just in case something happened, and you can't have all you want, you got discipline. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. So failure is a part of life. Yeah. It gives you a testimony. Once you experience God arm, reach down from heaven and pull you up. Amen. The prophet says, rejoice not by enemies, for when I fall, I shall arise. See, one thing about it, if you fall, look out. Look out. You'll have some folk just happy. Yes. That's and they'll true. rejoice. Rejoicing. And there'll be some of the same ones that say, they're your brother mm -hmm. and they are your sister. That's right. They will be so happy. Happy. But then when they see you come back, they're upset. That's true. They'll be so upset. That's right. Why? They want you down there. Amen. Amen. What did the Holy God say? Oh, this is so good. And has not fainted. Have not fainted. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. I have somewhat against thee. Now, God Almighty showed the church what good potential that they had. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of their good potential and their development, he still had a complaint That's about right. them. That's right. Many of us is too immature to accept complaint, but we always want to accept compliments. Yeah. You got to be able to take both from God. That's right. If God got a complaint, take it. Take it. Amen. Don't waste your breath and energy and get mad at me. You better take it. That's it. And best you take it now rather than take it later. Take it later. Listen. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. What is it? Because thou hast left thy first love. Hold it. Left thy first love. God say I got a complaint because you have left thy him. first love. You left, left him. Yeah. Amen. When you left him, yeah. when you depart from God, mm -hmm. then you got to have everlasting trouble. That's true. What you mean, first love? You were created for God's glory right off the back. Right. The first love is God. That's right. You was created for God's glory. He said, yeah, I have made him. Mm -hmm. Tell the north to give up and tell the south to keep not back. Yeah. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the end of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name. Yeah, I have made him for my glory. my glory. Your first love is God. Even when you was ignorant of him. That's true. He still kept you when you didn't know him. That's true. When you was arrogant and self-centered. Right. He still kept you when you didn't know him. Didn't know him. High as a kite, almost old deed, got stabbed, got shot. God still kept you. Amen. When you didn't know him. Amen. How can we afford to have this arrogance and concealment because of a little education? Education without God, you are nothing but an educated fool. That's right. God. It's everything. everything. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Logic and God don't mix. No. And when you get people, they get a little book learning under their belt. They try to look at the things of God from a logical perspective. That's you right. You make a fool out yourself. That's right. Huh? Amen. My God just says that heaven is higher than the earth, so is God's way from your way, so is God's thoughts from your thoughts. That's Face right. the fact. You that are watching, God don't think like you do. No. He just don't do it. Just, no. It is my job, I'm commissioned huh. to preach the thoughts of God. That's right. And that's the people complain. Yeah. That's the complaint. Somebody wrote me from this organization headed by Paul Morton, mm. full gospel Baptist, mm. told me they want me to come on board and fellowship with them. God thoughts ain't like yours. No way. 
God is not a Baptist? No. No, he's not. No, God is not a Baptist? No. You out here, if you're a Baptist, you're not in what God has? No. God ain't never told you to be Baptist? No. God ain't never told you to be non-denominational? No. Nope. God ain't told you to be Pentecostal? Amen. God didn't tell you to be a Catholic? No. God didn't tell you to be a Mormon? Amen. God didn't tell you to be a Muslim? Right. God said be holy. Be holy. And if God said that, why are you bragging about being this other garbage? That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to soak you a little. Amen. You want to be a good Christian? Huh. Then you better do it on God terms. That's right. Do you hear the holy book? Is everybody all right? Amen. Come on, son. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. All right. God showed the church's good potential. Now we're going to hear God's complaint. I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Now, when you start drifting away from God, you start changing. Changing. The things that God wants you to uphold, now you start to disbelieve. That's right. Hmm? That's right. There are preachers I know that used to believe that you can have one wife, just one. <laughs> now them weak fellas start picking up remarriage and divorce. Yeah. Well, I take that back. They're not preachers I know. They're just some fellas. Some fellas. <laughs> They're just fellas. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's it. Amen. That's right. It's amazing how folks go backward. Don't go forward. The devil objective is to make you go backward, backwards. to build up again the things you destroy. Right. And they say you make yourself a transgressor. What did the holy book say? Nevertheless, I am somewhat against thee. What is it? Because thou hast left thy first love. You left God. Remember therefore. Uh oh. Remember I therefore. I want everybody to get this good. Amen. Pay close attention. Mm -hmm. You that are watching this morning, stop staring around and sit down. Right. And you that just got in from church, sit down and get this, because you ain't learned nothing. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, brother. The holy book says what? Remember therefore. Remember therefore. From whence thou art fallen. Where you fell. And repent. Amen. Amen. Remember what? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Remember, remember where you come from. Remember, remember where you fell at. Right. And do what? And repent. Then explain to me how is it you're so anxious to make yourself a measuring stick to everybody else. Mm. Oh, you ain't going to church much as me. You don't fast much as me. Right. You don't read the Bible much as me. That's Who right. are you? That's right. That I got to read like you or come to church like you or pray like you. Go ahead. I got to be like Jesus. Amen. Not like you. Amen. Good teaching. Good teaching. Go ahead. Amen. If a woman got an ankle chain on and you got a necklace on, don't complain about an ankle chain. No. No, no. If a woman got one weave in and you got the whole wig, don't complain about the weave in. Don't complain. That's Am true. I right? That's right. A little leaven, leaven if the whole up. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Amen. Remember where God brought you from. Remember therefore. Let me give you a broad, a broader picture. Mm -hmm. As I've said before, there was a prophet, the son of Bullseye. His name was Brother Ezekiel, better known as the son of man. Right. God Almighty told Ezekiel mm -hmm. to make him some bread. bread. Make some bread, Ezekiel, for himself. Mm -hmm. Not for God, but for himself. And he had to make it out of dung. dung. Glory to God. He didn't say have some bread and some dip. He had to make the bread out of the dung from animals and from his. That's right. Eat it as barley cakes. <laughs> I want to show you this. In Read the, this. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 4 and at verse 11. Thou shalt, also, thou shalt drink also water by measure. Thou shalt do what? Also drink water by measure. Drink water by measure. The sixth part of an hen 
from time to time shalt thou drink. Yes. And thou shalt eat it as barley cake. Let's see how to make it. And thou shalt bake it with dung. Thou shalt bake it with dung. That cometh out of man in their sight. Yep. Then said I, Ah, Lord God. Wait a minute. Ezekiel's palm was what? Ah, Lord God. Ah. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Ah, ah, Lord God. That's right. Uh huh. Amen. All right. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. Now, God ain't like us. No way. You see dung, you don't want no part of it. Mm. Do you? No. You don't want no parts of it. Mm -mm. Yes, God is going to take a man and make cake. Barley cakes. Barley cakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. My Lord. That's a cake, brother. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's right. Listen. And, and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And what? And thou shalt bake it with dung. Oh, bake it. Bake it. Can you imagine the scent? <laughs> bake it in, in whose presence? With dung that cometh out of man in their sight. I want you to bake it while mm. men is looking at you. Looking at you. My Lord. Hmm. And he had to do what God said. He had to, mm. Don't worry, I'll show you what this means. <laughs> no. I don't want no one to get overzealous and go run into the bathroom to make a collection. <laughs> That's right. They want to come bringing to me, Pastor Jim, this is what God means? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? Oh! <laughs> I'm a biggest like Ezekiel. Oh! Hey, <laughs> Come on, son. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. Thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung. Bake it with dung. That cometh out of that man. That come out of man. In their sight. Uh -huh. And the Lord said. And the Lord said. Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. And. Whether I will drive them. Now it listen. It is our nature not to mingle in dung. Correct? That's right. All right. We don't want no parts of it. When you smell it, you're like, oh, oh, Jesus. You know, sometimes on these country roads, you can ride by on a nice summer day. Man, like something outside is dead. Yeah. You don't care how hot it is. You crank them windows up. You be like, oh, God. The dung mm. represent past. Mm. All that good food you ate goes through conversion it changes so now all them good greens and vegetables now what you ate in the past becomes the present so we reject we accept our actions of the past but they have a tendency to come haunt us in the present that's true that's true and even though you enjoy the actions of the past now when you face with them in the present yeah your whole outlook on them is different different because now you realize the stench mm. that they give off go ahead man. are you listening to the old go man? ahead go ahead so you reject the mm. past becoming present right and now you work to dismiss the present right. knowing is a result of your madness in the past Go ahead, brother. Dung is something of the past. Yeah. Out of an enjoyable meal, or is it something in the present from an enjoyable meal of the past? Right. We don't want it. But here you got a farmer. Hmm. He gets the dung. He wants it. He wants it. He wants that fertilizer. That's right. Because he knows nutrients in it. Look at all, all that good corn that's on your table. I want you to think the next time you eat. <laughs> the corn, the greens, the beans, the potatoes, what we reject. Yeah. 
The farmer he knows. knows. He mingled in the soil. Drive his tractor through the soil, turning over the earth to mix the nutrients and release the oxygen. Then he come planting. All the present now with the fertilizer. Yeah. What is he doing? Planning for the future. You have to look at your past dung, your past life. Right. And see what you presently learn. And what good you able to learn and abstract from the madness of your past life. Use it in the present. For the betterment of yourself in the future. That's right. Good teaching. Good teaching. When you say I was a sinner, you're saying I was a dung lover. That's right. That's right. Maybe you have to think twice about praising yourself. You was a dung lover, dung lover and a dung eater. Yeah. Oh yeah. So when God told the prophet about the barley cakes, mm -hmm. eat. He did what? Thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. Do what with it? Eat it. Eat it. Now, I love the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I, re I really do love him. You really do. I really do. <laughs> I cannot by any means yeah. honestly, honestly say mm. that if the Lord told me to do this, I'm going to jump on it. No. See, I'm a realist. I'm just simply a real straight up person. Right. A lot of folks say, oh, whatever God said, I will do. All right. Okay. If God told you to take your own dumps on your day of diarrhea, Put it in an eight ounce glass. Ugh. And for you to get in the kingdom, you got to take it. Oh, How many will do it? How many? Now, me personally, I struggle with it. I will struggle with it. Oh, yes. You know when that mother want to give the child those green vegetables, that child fight. <laughs> I struggle with it. Struggle it. Stop being so over-righteous. Whatever God say I jump and do, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't know what God may tell you. That's true. And God will challenge you by telling you to do because you opened your mouth. That's right. That's what happened to Abraham, Abraham. and Isaac. Mm -hmm. Ishmael was rejoicing about his circumcision. Isaac said to him, what are you bragging about a little piece of flesh? A little piece of flesh. So Isaac felt as though that he would exalt himself above his brother and say, hey, if, if, if my father Abraham hmm. offered me before the Lord, oh, Lord. I'd do it. Mm -hmm. The book of Jasher said, the Lord heard it. Heard the word. And it sound good to the Lord. That's right. And God told Abraham, offer up. Offer up thy son. Thy son Isaac. Isaac words. Because he made a declaration that I will do this and I will do that. If the Lord said something, cause him to be on that altar. You better shut your mouth. That's right. Before you be quick to say, if God told me do this or do that, I do it. Because God may bring it right to your doorstep. That's true. And then if you don't do it, you broke your vow. You better be careful. Be careful. That's truth. You better be careful. That's right. Oh, I have another backslide. All right. If you got enough experience, you can say that. Fine. I will never leave the church over a woman. Mm. 
and yet a woman got you fighting and cussing other men out and she ain't even your wife that's right never steal. Can you say that if your children hungry and you can't find nothing to eat? My Lord. Can you say that if your children hungry and your wife is hungry and you can't get nothing else? Can you walk by food and not take it? Something. I will never go to the doctor. Can you take that pain that feel like a thousand Charlie horses? Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. This is real Holy Ghost teaching. Real teaching. Out of one mouth, we thank God for coming into the knowledge of the truth. Mm -hmm. And then out of mercy, when God bring us to it, now he can't find us in it. That's right. Because something else got us our attention, and we think of that cheap trash more than God. That's right. He got a beef with you. Yeah. When God, now listen, what the scripture is itemizing, if you're in, mm -hmm. if you're in it, and God got a beef with you, you're not on good terms with God. Right. I don't care how you and some brother or you and some sister get along, brother, if you ain't on good terms with God, you, listen, you in a bad predicament. Bad predicament. Huh? That's true. I want to soak you a little. Amen. What the holy book said? And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. All right, let's go back to Revelation. Read quick, son. My time is getting away. It's so much to preach on and you never finish that's right back in revelation 2 and verse 5 all right remember therefore from whence thou art fallen let's remember where you come from and repent yep. amen if somebody repent who are you to keep bothering them yeah leave them alone leave them alone but make sure your repentance come from god that's right stop trying to prove things to others amen. that's one thing about me I, that's one part of me I'm, i thank god for i ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody Huh? That's right. And I mean nobody. That's right. Love me or hate me, I'm satisfied with either. Amen. If you love me, I'm gonna keep going with the help of God. If you hate me, I'm gonna keep going with the help of God. The only way I don't keep going, I'm a dead man. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. The book says what? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Do you know where God brought you from? Amen. Look at yourself. Yeah. Then why are we arrogant? Mm. Why are we self-centered? Why are we overzealous? Why are we overrighteous? Yeah. Why are we so in a hurry? It ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Remember where Amen. God brought you. That's right. The holy book says what? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. And what? And repent. 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 Self-centered, self-righteous, repent. That's right. Huh? Amen. Repent. Repent. Go before God with a broken and contrite heart and repent. That's right. Don't go ask someone, did you repent? That ain't your business. That's between them and God. That's true. That's between them and God. That's right. Hey Amen. If, if, if William got it, I ain't going to ask William, did you repent? That's between him and God. Right. Because if he didn't, he got God to deal with. That's right. Well, he got to prove something to me. He ain't got to do no more than what God said. God said. 
Otherwise than that, you ain't got the right to set a measuring stick for them. That's right. You can see whether repentance is in somebody. Yeah. Just like you can see the devil in somebody. That's right. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent. What else? And do the first works. Sometime we gotta go back. Go back. Reevaluate ourselves and do things over. That's right. And that's what many of us don't do. We don't go back. We just keep going forward. But we ain't gaining no spiritual ground. Amen. So what you may call growth, God may not. Yeah. What you may call strength, God may not. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. The holy book says what? Repent. This is a good thinking message. Yeah. I want you to dig deep in the bowels of your soul. Amen. The holy book says, Repent and do the first works. Some of you have never repented. Never in your life. About nothing. Hmm. It's time now for you to start repenting. Yeah. What is repentance? It's when you're truly sorry about the wrong you've done from the heart. Some folk tell you they're sorry after you done almost took their head off. You know, it's a sad thing. You almost got to cuss a person out for them to take you serious. That's right. That means they take you for granted and they don't respect you. Amen. You can get an apology out of a person sometime hmm. when you almost got to step into their chest. Yeah. Otherwise than that, they are say anything about you and keep going. Keep going. Call you anything, keep going. That's true. And then keep smiling with you. That's true. The holy book says what? Repent. Repent. And do the first works. Go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. When you do the first work, you start reflecting back on the teachings you had in the past. Right. And evaluate self. Right. If we would stop worrying about everybody else and work on yourself. That's it. That's like that hard-hitting message last night. Yes, <laughs> and I know some was upset, but God don't care, and I don't either. That's right. God wants respect when it comes to his work. Yeah. And I want to apologize to everybody last night because I didn't have a clue that we had to be out of here at 1130. I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a clue. We just had to interrupt and just shut everything down. I didn't have a clue. Mm -hmm. But uh, next time, believe me, things will be done in a much better perspective. Right. We, we, we didn't have a clue. But even though we didn't have a clue, rest assured you, you got a belly full. Still like the word. That's right. The book says what? Repent. Repent. And do the first works. What else? Or else I will come unto thee quickly. Wait a minute. Who's coming? I will come unto Never thee Never mind Geno Genesis. That's right. I who's come. coming? I will come. Now you tell me who you'd rather put up with. Mr. Genesis or God? Amen. Amen. Who would you rather come down on you? Me or God? Mm. Just think now. Who would you rather step to you? Me? Oh God, you. who would you prefer? You. Who? You. Who? You. <laughs> the children of Israel, they found that out. They found that out. Then they God? That's right. They plainly was outspoken. Moses, we don't want to hear you. We don't want to hear what you got to say. This God you're always talking about, let us hear him. Hear him. Glory to God and all they did. Oh, yeah. Thunder and lightning came blasting. Blasting. Blasting from the mountain. That's right. Moses, we'll listen. We'll listen. Tell God, go back. That's right. You ain't that tough. You ain't that cute. You ain't that good. You ain't that handsome. God will break you and bring you down to nothing. Amen. Amen. Your little degrees you got, you got it because God allowed Amen. them little brains to hold something. That's right. 
Your little car you got, it is God that made a way for you to drive the thing. That's it. Your little name, brand, clothing, God made a way for you to wear those recycled things. Amen. Now, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Mm. Israel paid the price Man. for rising up at Moses. They didn't think that Moses' God was for real. That's right. Because if folks knew and believed that God was for real, really? who would speak in a cheap manner yeah. after being taught about God and his word? That's right. If the word of God is preached, who are you to be arrogant to say the word don't mean that? When you say that, you say God is a liar. Amen. Amen. After you've been taught After. God's word. Yeah. And if it ever come out your mouth. Yes. The word don't mean that you have blasphemed. That's blasphemy. Yeah. Mm. My Lord. You can't thank God for bringing you out of the truth out of one mouth. And then you want to hang the streets out of another mouth. That's right. God is not a toy. That's right. We owe God everything. There are some religions that have church every day. Most people that work go to work every day. But when it comes to church, some start off with a good zeal. On their way, zealous, getting up, testifying, saying, You don't know what God done for me. Bring me from a long, 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 long way. Hmm. No, you forgot where God brought you. God is warning the church. That's right. He have a complaint mm -hmm. with the church. Remember, therefore. He wouldn't advise the church to remember if they would not have forgot. That's right. So the church was in a spiritual strut, a yeah. spiritual state that God wasn't pleased with. Yeah. They became lax, comfortable. Mm -hmm. Look how many, many preachers that may have a church the size of this stage was real firm, strict, solid. When they got a church and they were to fill it like this room, mm -hmm. now they took things in the Bible and kicked it out. Mm -hmm. That they know must be preached. That's right. Like this one preacher, or this one guy. <laughs> I forgot his name. I think his last name was Piercing, something like that. Carlton Pearson, I think it was. Changed up. And say that ain't no hell. Wow. No hell. Wow. No hell at all. The Lord. He said I wouldn't serve a God that will put me in a place like that. Mm. These arrogant, arrogant. self-centered, self-righteous, two-fold child of hell preachers, but somebody will follow them. That's right. Now you see why God sent a pit bull like me? Amen. So nobody will follow these fellas. Amen. Here's God says, mm. if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It's better to go in the life main than to have two hands to go into hell, into the fire, fire. That, ne that never shall be quenched, where the worm don't die and the fire shall never be quenched. In the book of Revelation, it talks about you shall be tormented day and night without ceasing forever and ever. And, and, and here's somebody come along and the Jehovah Witnesses. Oh, it ain't no hell. <laughs> oh my God. It's right in the Bible. Right in the book. It's plainly in the Bible. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Jehovah Witnesses say, the earth going to stay here. It ain't going. You see the way people are? That's right. That's the devil out of hell, right in the Bible. That's right. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Jehovah's Witness come knocking on your door, interrupting your grits. <laughs> to tell you, the earth ain't going nowhere. The earth ain't going nowhere. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. 
The book says what? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Everybody here, remember. Mm -hmm. Respect God's complaint. Yeah. Stop wasting your time looking at everybody else. That's right. And look at self. Amen. Some of us are weak because we got our eyes on somebody else yeah. and we stop focused on ourselves. Right. Somebody say, well, uh, I'm going to lay out of church until I get myself right. Use a lost cause. Yeah. You backward. That's like saying you're going to take a bath without running water. That's right. Who just get in the tub and move their hands by faith. Where's the water? I believe. I believe. <laughs> I believe. You was a fool. That's a fool. They ain't faith. That's ignorance. That's right. You can lay out of church all day. Now you fell into another commandment. You're yeah. broke. Yeah. God made a command. Not forsaken. Do you hear the command? In Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. There's a command. That's right. What? Not forsaking. He says not forsaking. The assembling of ourselves together. The bringing together, yourselves together. As the manner of some, some is. Some done it already. But exhorting one another. He said exhort or encourage one another. And so much the more. And you better do it more than you were. As you see the day approaching. Why? What's coming? The day approaching. The coming of the Lord. That's right. The day. The coming of the Lord. That's right. The day. That's Not right. the day, the day, but the day. That's right. One day the Lord God himself will appear up in the heavens and defy all laws of gravitation. Yeah. And everything under the sun will not have a chance to get themselves right when he appear. That's right. When he appear, you won't have a chance to repent for nothing. You won't have a chance to redo nothing you won't have a chance to come out the bar come out the club come out your second wife house stop living together not married no -uh, because when you come as a thief in the night whatever you're doing that's what you're going to be doing that's right whatever you're thinking that's what you're going to be thinking pastor Dylan, you mean my thoughts yes god advised us to let this mind be in you that was also in christ jesus that's right you don't have no chance to tell god you're sorry my lord when he appear Right then, the Lord day is ignited. That's right. We can't scramble around. He's coming as a thief in the night. He doesn't matter if you don't believe it. He said it. I believe it. He can't lie. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Real quick. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. As, as a matter of assignment, but so much the more as you see the day approaching. Go back to Revelation so I can knock off. Back in Revelation 2 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. And repent. And repent. And do the first works. Or else. Or else. I will. Oh, wait a minute. That's an ultimatum. Or else. That's right. Or else. That's like somebody tell you, give me your money. Or else. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What do you think they mean? They're going to tickle you? Huh. <laughs> give me your money. Or else. What do you think? They're going to tickle you? They're going to crack you a joke? They're going to start shooting dice? It's just not Geno Jen is telling you this. No. God Almighty said. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent. You that got this arrogant and self-centeredness. Mm -hmm. You too good for God. You got your little education or went to some little school. And you're deep. You ever met someone that believed they're deep and they just as shallow as a knee sock? Amen. It is hard for the immature and the inexperienced to grasp <laughs> and to understand when you in dialogue with a mature conversation right. and a conversation where knowledge is supposed to be exchanged. They look at you like you're crazy. The discourse of fools is irksome. Do you hear all this Bible? In the book of Ecclesiastes 27 and at verse 13. Do you 13? hear all this Bible? Give chapter and verse again. In Come folks say, man, he irked me. That's yes. right. That's right. In the book of You the ever had a conversation with people? Mm -hmm. Their brains is not left or right or neutral. <laughs> it's just That's right. 
They say things they ain't got nothing to do with what you're talking about. That's nothing. True. Nothing. They quote scriptures that don't fit. <laughs> That's right. You tell them you had a spiritual spiritual experiences? Oh yeah, I had it too. Oh yeah. Me too. You tell them God showed you this? Oh yeah, I'm right with you. He showed me the same thing. <laughs> Go ahead. Irksome. Somebody fast five days and five nights, seven days and seven nights, or ten days and ten nights. When they do it right, they're not bragging to people they on that fast. But no. when you get someone that's trying to do it and make a name for themselves, they'll call people. Well, look, I'm on a long fast. What you want everybody to know for? <laughs> that's right. What is your purpose? That's right. If you really don't it to be right, shut your mouth up, put your phone down, and let it be between you and God. Amen. That's the way you do that. Amen. You tell somebody what they're going to get out of it. They're going to get out of it. Why? The objective is you want others to talk about it. Right. Hey, man, he on a long enough. Never mind that. That's right. Arrogance is the downfall of a fool. Amen. Do you hear the book talking? In the book of Ecclesiastes 27 and verse 13. Do you hear this? The discourse of fools. The discourse of fools. Is irksome. Have you ever had a conversation with a fool? <laughs> Have you ever talked to a pure bona fide? One hundred percent fool. That's right. Have you ever talked to one? Oh yeah. How does it make you feel? Irksome. Give you pain. That's right. That's right. Irksome. Try to be deep. Yeah. Mm. Irksome. Irksome. You talk to them about just regular natural things. That's right. right away, that overzealous madness kick in Amen. and they want to quote scripture. Amen. You tell them, look, I'm going to start get some ice cream. Yeah, that's right. The Bible said uh, milk is for them, you know, unskillful. <laughs> Irksome. What are they? Irksome. Oh, I want to give you a good gut. <laughs> That's right. Irksome. Irksome. Amen. 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 I want to take my time and soak you. That's right. Because a lot of us have a bad disease called overzealousness. Oh, yeah. We're running, ain't going nowhere. That's right. And what we're doing, we're destroying others in our path of madness. That's right. <laughs> A path of madness. Amen. Hmm? The Holy Book says the discourse of fools is irksome. You see, when you're a fool, that overzealousness step in, over righteousness set in, then you want to have this deep appearance. That's right. I've tried people. Yes, I have. I've tested people. Test them. And you can elevate the fool out of them. Because one thing about a, <laughs> one thing about a fool, they don't mind showing you they're a fool. They're That's like a true. jack in a box. That's true. All you gotta do is press the right button, the fool head come right up. A fool ahead, is not slow. 
and running Money. off at their mouth. That's right. Because the Bible said a fool is known by the multitude of words, Amen. and a fool will tell all their heart. All his heart. That's right. Go ahead. A person don't want, don't want to tell you their personal business, stop trying to be slick and pry. Right. Sometimes a person will make a statement to see where you respond to it. You got to learn to ignore a fool. That's right. That's Sometimes right. they'll throw a statement at to try to lure you in a conversation. Ignore a fool. Ignore it. Why? They're irksome. irksome. They're having an irk attack. <laughs> Why? The objective of them lowering you in that conversation, it ain't no good. They want to know your personal business. Right. A person wants you to know their personal business, they'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, in that, don't be busy about it and other people matter. Go ahead. Mind your business and leave theirs alone. Amen. Go ahead. Bro. When a person not like that, how are they? Irksome. If God say you irksome, man, I'm saying something. I'm <laughs> saying something. What else? The discourse of fools, the discourse is, of fools is irksome. And their sport, their sport is the wantonness of sin. Their sport. Their sport. Amen. Is the wantonness, wantonness of sin. Of sin. Amen. They deliberately lure you in a conversation and they get something going. That's deliberately. Right. That's right. If a woman stepped to a man, don't switch it and say he stepped to you. Right. If a man stepped to a woman, don't switch it and say she stepped to you. That's right. Call it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's right. Brother, if that sister's not in love with you, you can't make her be in love with you. No. Except your rejection. <laughs> she don't want you. She don't want you. Huh? Eh? <laughs> That's true. Am I right, I said? Amen. Sister, if that brother not in love with you, don't feel as though because you love him. He automatically is supposed to love you. You can't make nobody love you, but you can make somebody hate you. Yes, you can. That's truth. That's right. That's right. Don't be irksome. Irksome. Are you listening? Amen. The Holy Book says what? The discourse of fools. The discourse of fools. Is irksome. 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 You can't buy love. No. Some folk buy a relationship. They think it's a relationship, but it's nothing but deception. Right. Hmm? That's right. Irksome. Read some more. The discourse of fools is irksome. Yes. And their sport their is the wanting of sin. The wanting is of sin. The talk of him that sweareth oh, much. Oh, wait a minute. The talk. The talk of him. Of him. That sweareth much. That swear much. Maketh the hair stand upright. They get under your skin. <laughs> That's true. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Give chapter and verse. Now in Ecclesiasticus 27 and verse 14. That's what is meant in modern terms. Mm. You get on my nerves. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear the holy book? The, the talk of him. The talk of him. That sweareth much. Always running off at his mouth. Maketh the hair stand upright. It just agitates you. That's right. Some people you're better off never talking to. Mm -hmm. To stay sane and to keep peace of mind and heart. That's right. And their brawls. And their brawls. Make one stop his ears. You just don't want to hear nothing hear. they got to say. <laughs> That's nothing. Right. That's right. You wonder why he hang up on you. You wonder why she <laughs> hang up on you. That's right. Talk too much and don't know what you're don't talking you. about. Amen. Just a bunch of foolishness. Mm -hmm. Irksome. Irksome. God is filing a complaint. That's right. He got a grievance mm -hmm. with humanity. A few more verses so I can quit. The talk of him that sweareth much maketh the hair stand upright. And, and their brawls make one stop his ears. And the strife of the proud is bloodshedding. When you get a person that's proud yeah. and arrogant yep. and self-centered, they're what? Bloodshedding. They love to shed blood. That's right. And, and their revilings are grievous to the ear. Do you hear that? Amen. Their revilings are grievous to the ear. Stop trying to be deep when you're not. That's right. Just stay in your place so you don't make waste. That's right. <laughs> Stop trying to be deep. Amen. Some is not even naturally mature. Mm. 
and try to be spiritually deep spiritually or deep. naturally deep. Just stay where you are right. and take your time and grow. That's it. Hmm? That's right. Sometime a man want a relationship with a woman. He got in mind he, he, that he think that woman will make him a good wife. But the woman could be too mature for him. That's true. Naturally. I mean naturally. She, her mind right. is just too mature. That means he, he's in the way over his head. Yeah. She don't want to be, feel like she's talking to a child or a baby. That's right. Same thing with the man. Woman, ain't no need for you to try to go after a man. And that man is too mature for you. Too mature. You're in the wrong league. That's right. You don't find the minor league playing in the pros. <laughs> no. Oh, There's no. a difference in the level of maturity and experience. That's right. That's true. Are you listening? Who so discovered? That's the way it is spiritually. That's right. Same way. There's a difference in the level of spiritual maturity. That's true. Mm. He read it earlier. Mm. One came under the title of milk, milk, and the other came under the title of strong meat. That's right. You don't give a child a fried chicken wing, and it's only five months. No. A fried chicken wing. What the child going to do? The child going to hurt itself with all that hard crust. That's it going right. to hit itself in the head. That's right. Do you hear the intelligence of the Lord? The strife of the prayer. Wait a minute. Do you hear the intelligence of the Lord? Amen. This is the Lord's intelligence. That's right. The strife. The strife of the proud. Of the proud. Is bloodshed. Is bloodshed. And their reviling. And their reviling. Are grievous to the are ear. Are grievous to the ear. Who so discovers secrets. Who ever discovers secrets. Loses his credit. Lose his credibility. Amen. You want to try a person? Tell them something you don't mind getting out and then encourage them to hold it. Right. <laughs> That's right. Tell them something you don't mind getting out. That's right. And encourage them to hold it. Mm -hmm. You really don't care if he get out, mm -hmm. but you encourage them to hold it. Right. You can evaluate the credibility. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Remember what the Lord says. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. And and repent. And and do the first works. Or else, or else, I will come unto thee quickly. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. We are grateful forever for God's divine word. His word is pure, undefiled, it's challenging. But yet, is it written that it was needful for me to write unto you in exhaustion? He said that you should earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Now, we will be in church this evening at our local temple in Del Mar, Delaware. What's that address? 108 North 2nd Street. Service, who can give me the correct time? What time is it now? 328. Service will begin at 5.30 this evening. Be there. Prayer will begin at 5.30 this evening. You that have heard the word, if there's anybody here that want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Anybody here want to obey the word of God? One, two, three, four, five. Look at the many that want to be baptized. Wonderful. Where's Brother White? Is he here? Where? All right, Brother White, get the bus ready. You that are on a baptismal committee, follow those that's coming to you. You that is on the National Baptismal Committee, I told the National Baptismal Committee, let's round them up, take them, 
Get them ready for baptism. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isn't that wonderful? Let's round them up. Get ready. Take them down in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You got to have this. If you want to see God, you got to have it. Look at the long line just marching. That's a wonderful thing, isn't it? The Holy God says, I make you fishes of men. Nobody shall see the Lord in peace. And you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not safe. If you've been baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you were baptized wrong. You got to get it over. You got to get it in the name of Jesus Christ. If you've never been baptized, you're not a Christian. For Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born of the water and of the Spirit. Before you die, you must repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Take your time and follow the way of holiness and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God Almighty gave utterance. They're going to be baptized today. The bus is out there now loading them up. Everybody got to have it. Everybody. Do you, you know this preaching is so right? Every place you go, you're guaranteed results because God wanted to be so. Amen. To my guests, we thank you for taking the time out to come. You're always welcome whenever we're in your area to come visit us. You ain't never got to ask, is there a charge? There's never a charge. The price you pay, you got to give yourself. We hope to see you this evening in Del Mar, Delaware. And the invitation will still be open while we're here to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us all stand. Brother Minister Harrison will close us out in prayer. Eternal Father, the hymn that is able to keep us from falling. Lord, we thank you for your word that came forth. We thank you, O oh Lord, how you sold it to our pastor, O oh God. Lord, so in heart with such today. We give you all honor, praise, and glory, O oh God. Lord, continue to watch over us, O oh God. Lord, as we go through this time, Lord God, we thank you right now for your word that you left on record. O oh God, that we can strive to live by, to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and presentable unto you, O oh God, who is our judge at the end of our life. Lord, we be so careful to give your name all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray, who is God Almighty, we say amen. amen. We hope to see all of you tonight.